Lab on Wheels is a bus retrofitted as an interactive classroom and tech lab that allows students of all ages, from primary to secondary school, to explore the possibilities of technology. Singapore's Infocom Media Development Authority started the program in 2014 as part of its broader effort to prepare citizens for the digital skills needed to achieve its smart nation vision. Due to soaring demand from schools, they have recently expanded the program, which has proven to be quite popular with the children. Shyam takes robotics as his extracurricular activity and loves it. For Jessica, it's a first. Robotics is very fun and you keep on learning new things and new stuff for the robot to do and it's pretty cute when you see the robot move and the robot accomplish all its movements. I wish we had more of these programs because it's really fun and exciting. I learned how to um, program robots and on second thoughts now maybe I'm thinking about joining robotics as my CC. The goal is to ignite a passion in tech among the young students through engaging in hands-on activities. Students are introduced to the basics of modern technology such as robotics, coding and 3D printing. Today, they will learn how to control a tiny robot, the Ozobot, that changes colour as it moves. The favourite part is mostly the interactivity and in this time it's not just with their friends but with the robots themselves. And to find the robots responding according to how they have programmed it, I think they find tremendous joy in their learning. And at the same time, um, the motivational level in learning has increased tremendously too. The program supports the government's vision to create and nurture a culture of experimentation and innovation. This is especially important for Singapore's smart nation vision. I think there's a very fundamental capability or mindset that's actually much needed in the future workforce, regardless of whether you are in the ICT sector or actually a banker, a lawyer, an accountant. Hopefully one day they find that many of these skill sets and many of the mindset they picked up uh, through some of these uh, interactions with technology can be applied in very different domains. So that's, I think, a fundamental belief that we have, making sure that our young and next generation will be relevant in a digital economy. The Lab on Wheels program first started with a single bus in November 2014 and soon expanded to four buses in May 2016. The program has already reached over 50,000 students and aims to reach 80% of primary schools by 2020. I sure do want to work in technology as I want to program stuff like program cars. That's my favourite dream. I think in this digital time and age, um, because of the motivational level that has been heightened through ICT in the classroom and school grounds, they have gone on to pursue ICT in the higher education level. And um, every time when they come back to visit us, they have so much to share about how ICT has actually impacted in their learning journey. Step one. Given that 95% of jobs already have a digital component, investing in technology skills takes on great economic importance in Singapore, but also worldwide. It can help change the world by making people not too stressed out. Maybe like we have a mini companion somewhere to like go get me a pizza while you stay at home and then the robot will go get you one. Yeah, so I think technology is convenient in that way. And it can help people in our lifetimes. Though they both believe that technology can be used at the service of humanity so we can live better lives, Jessica has an idea of what the perfect robot would be. A robot that can do all the homework for me. And who knows, she might be the one who builds it. <laughs>